everybody, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am here with another process video for Wild Whisper Designs. And I am combining two collections that you might not really think about collecting and co collecting, connecting, and I am going to pair them with three photos. So that first black and white paper is from the masculine uh, paper collection, and I fell in love with the design of this with the mountains. And so what I wanted to do was take my craft knife and cut out a bunch of the different sections. And the reason I'm doing that is because I am absolutely obsessed with the Nicole Wright media assemblage package. And so that pattern paper is the one that you saw me use in my last Wild Whisper project that has all the really bright, cool mixed media backgrounds. And I was super excited about it. So I'm going to do something with it today, but I'm going to make it a little bit different. So I'm cutting out like nine sections and I tried to choose sections that were like complete. So like they were a closed loop rather than picking the ones that had like the full lines connected with them. And then I'm just taking my leftover scraps because there is no way that I am wasting a full sheet of this amazing paper. So I'm taking all my scraps from last time's project for Wild Whisper and using them to fill these little spaces. And so all it's gonna do is add this really fun, bright pop of color behind those sections. And I am seriously loving it. The only thing I kinda wish I would've done differently, and I didn't really think about it until I was done, was to put these on foam adhesive rather than making them flat because that just would've added another dimension to what I was creating. Um, they totally look fine either way, but I kind of wish that I would have added that dimensional like foam adhesive um, just to make them kind of pop out and stand out even more. Um, but we're going to we're going to media up this page with um, some more of this media assemblage collection anyway. And so the good thing about Wild Whisper Designs for this particular masculine collection is I have the double pack. So I have two sheets of each because if you noticed and it was breaking your heart that, that wood grain on the back was getting like sacrificed for this layout, never fear <laughs> because I have another sheet and I know that some of you are thinking that in your head. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is tear down this left edge because I wanted to break up a little bit more of this black and white and include a little bit more of the mixed media paper to give it that really bright color. So my photos that are going on this layout are from when we were in Cooperstown. We went to this apple cider mill and they had these like duck races. So you went to this little machine and put in your change and got a little rubber ducky and it was like a random draw. So we ended up with a bright yellow one and a bright pink one with a mohawk. And I think the pink mohawk one was actually ties. And then you got to put them in these little water troughs and race them. And so, Par not Parker, Parker wasn't with us because he was at Cooperstown playing baseball and doing practices and hanging out with his team. But Natty and Ty spent probably an hour racing these ducks in these little water troughs and they just were having so much fun. So the photos themselves have some pretty bright colors because our ducks were really bright. So that's where I'm bringing in all of this pop of color. I really like it mixed with the black and white, and that's a look that I often create. So then I took a little tiny strip of that pattern paper that I had cut up to put underneath my torn edge and added it to the opposite side as well. So we're just kind of closing everything in with these really bright pops of color. So then I'm gonna go ahead and take my three photos and back them with a little border of white cardstock. And so I have one that I left four by six, and then I have two that I cut down to like three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So three and a half was a little bit too big. So they're just a little bit smaller than that. And I'm going to kind of layer them all up together. I wanted to include that little um, Amy Tangerine envelope you see that has the three little hearts into my clusters. And I keep trying to get it in there because I wanted to put a bunch of journaling tucked inside of it. But for some reason, like, I don't know. In my head, it just wasn't working the way I wanted it to work. So it just was like throwing off the balance or I don't know. Something was being thrown off. So you'll watch me throughout the video continue to try to get it in there. But alas, it does not work. 
Um, so what I decide I want to do is add just a little bit of inking. So I'm grabbing my Catherine Pooler inks because you guys already know I am absolutely obsessed with them. So this pink one is party dress. And I'm going to take just a marker. And I didn't have a pen handy, so I'm grabbing this like little white paint marker. Um, and I'm going to just kind of edge a little bit of this so that it'll peek out from behind where my photos are. And I keep kind of going back and adding more because I'm not happy with how much is showing. So even though I put the marks in there, I still feel like I didn't do a very good job <laughs> making sure it extended the way I wanted it to. So I kind of go back and just add some more inking, which works because this is a super easy technique. So then I'm going to grab the blue one, which is suede shoes, and add that one is inking around my photos. So it's just going to kind of help them stand up off the background as well. The small one in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the back. So that one's going to stand up like even more on the page as I cluster my photos together. But then I wanted to add a pop of another color. So also Catherine Pooler because, you know, I'm obsessed. Um, lime Ricky is the one that I grabbed and it's going to add just a tiny touch of this lime green. And that matches the pattern paper um, from the Media Assemblage collection really well and kind of spices up this black and white a little bit. A lot of it is just going to get tucked behind my photos, as it often does when we do fun mixed media. Um, but it's going to kind of give this halo look around where my pictures are and help kind of draw your attention to the pictures um, rather than kind of the busyness of this layout. It is a pretty busy background, which sometimes will like be a challenge or will really bother me. But on this particular layout, I actually really like how it turned out and I don't feel like it's too busy. Um, and I love having the color with the black and white. That's just, it's my jam, you guys. Totally my jam. Um, so I am hoping that you are also getting into your room to create. As most of you know, I am super passionate about trying to get everybody I know to take 15 minutes every single day to find a little block of time where you can create. It doesn't seem like that long, but if you string together a few days of 15 minute chunks, you can get some layouts done and have some time for you, which is super, super important. So I just had to plug that in there really quick. Um, I'm going to go with these Amy Tangerine um, phrase stickers, and they're in kind of these rainbow of colors. I wanted to use the word family, but there was just a little bit too much orange and not enough orange on my page to where I felt like it was going to work. So I went ahead and went with So Fun instead for my title element. And I start out with um, this little green heart in there. But then I have all these acrylic stars that I want to use. And so as I start putting in the stars, I'm going to decide to take that heart out of there and replace it with a star. Because there are a lot of times, guys, where I still kind of struggle with mixing hearts and stars on a page. And because this is all about these duck races and things, I think the stars are probably a little bit more appropriate, um, kind of for the feel of the page. I did want to add some up in the top left-hand corner because I don't want everything just right around my pictures. Um, but I didn't really have an embellishment cluster going anywhere else. Like, that was really the only cluster I had going. So when I stuck these three stars up there, it just looked a little bit, like, naked. Like, it was missing something. So I went ahead and went back to my phrases and pulled out the word fantastic, which is in this nice green color. And I'm going to run that along my torn edge. And then I'm going to kind of um, leave my stars in a cluster right around that word. And that really kind of helped to ground those embellishments and give me an extra place for a cluster on the layout so that I wasn't just limited to that one right at the bottom of my photos. I did think about adding some extra letters and spelling out like duck races or something like that. And so I was looking for a place for them and just decided it was just going to make it even more busy and it wasn't really going to add to the layout because duck race is already in the photo. So I went ahead and decided that that was a good place to stop. So definitely take a look at your supplies and try combining some things that might not necessarily be your first instinct, like this masculine paper with these really bright mixed media paper from Nicole Wright, but I really love the look. And I think you'll find something in your stash that you could combine that you might not have originally thought and create something awesome too. Bye guys.